Good morning, I'm Rick Carr. This is your Lone Star News Roundup for Monday, October 18th, 2010. Spaceship Two achieved its first solo glide flight last week on October 10th. The space plane is the latest project of Burt Rutan, who made headlines in 2004 by launching the world's first privately built manned rocket into space. That feat won Rutan a $10 million competition prize and eventually a partnership with Virgin Atlantic CEO Sir Richard Branson. Now Virgin Galactic has dubbed the prototype craft VSS Enterprise and has plans to build a fleet of space tourism ships based on its design. News Corps reports that Paramount is in negotiations with producer Jerry Bruckheimer and director Tony Scott for a sequel to their 80s naval aviation blockbuster, Top Gun. The star of the original film Tom Cruise denies any involvement, but the actor could be slated for a much smaller role this time around, such as that of a flight instructor. According to the environmental news network ENN.com, the Massachusetts Institute of Technology has created an ultra-portable solar-powered desalination plant for humanitarian disaster recovery applications. The prototype unit can reportedly produce 80 gallons of potable water through the reverse osmosis of seawater, and production units would be able to support up to 10,000 people each, turning out 24,000 gallons of water a day. The small form factor of the systems would also allow up to 24 units to be transported in a single American C-130 cargo plane. 400,000 pages of Iraq war documents are released today on the whistleblower website known as WikiLeaks. This volume of classified documents will dwarf an earlier 70,000-page release that stirred controversy around military secrecy and the U.S.-led war in Afghanistan. The WikiLeaks motto is, We Open Governments. And in good news... Our Texas Rangers returned fire on the New York Yankees in Game 2 of the American League playoffs Saturday night. The 7-2 victory more than made up for Game 1's 8th inning collapse, tying the series at 1. Game 3 gets underway here in New York tonight at 8, 7 central.